Now let's take a look at how to assign a point mass to your model in OpenVSP using a blank component. So let's select this wing CG blank. You can see it's pulled up here and it's that little red dot telling you that this happens to be the blank that you have selected in your model. If we come over to the mass tab, turn on the point mass button, we can type in whatever mass that we want. And these are the mass units that you happen to choose for your model. So if you're working in SI, fine. If you want to build your model in length dimensions of, say, inches or feet and use mass units of kilograms, you are more than welcome to do that. But as with anything that uses an actual unit to describe this, make sure that things like your density and your moments of inertia make sense because the, the units are going to be a little bit mixed up. So now that we've assigned some mass to this component, we can come to our analysis tool, click on mass properties and compute. And here we have about 58, 59 mass units total. It's updated our CG location and given us moments of inertia in the primary directions and of course our cross directions. So you have the ability to place these components anywhere that you like in your model. And it's not just a correction or, you know, keeping track of where the mass is supposed to be. You can put ghost mass in your model when you don't have a physical representation of something that's supposed to be there. So if you want to have an OML of an engine and then put a blank as the mass representation of something like a set of turbine blades or a drive shaft, or if you want a blank mass to stand in for a fuel tank, you're more than welcome to do that and they're very handy. Now, this is an update from version 3.22 here. Uh, it used to be that blanks were ignored by the shown set. With this update, it computes them appropriately. And in this version, all of the blank components that you have are set up as a per entry basis. So that means that if you have a number of blank components standing in for masses in your model, they are now broken down in the mass table in this text file. So that's how you can assign mass properties using a blank component within your model in OpenVSP.